Pathways is a singing program that enhances the quality of life for people living with dementia by engaging them in song. Pathways creates an opportunity to have meaningful social interaction through singing and can be used in a number of settings, including long-term care, retirement homes, complex continuing care, hospitals, and adult day programs, or in community settings, such as Alzheimer's support groups, hospices, and private homes with family or private caregiver support. Pathways is an ideal tool to enhance memory and engagement that can be used with both small and large groups and individuals. A team of music care experts has designed the Pathways program using a research-informed and collaborative approach. The Pathways singing program is comprised of three components. A video series of 13 30-minute episodes. Activity booklets with more than 300 accompanying activation ideas and online training, comprised of six short tutorials. In addition, instrumental and vocal music tracks of each song are included by episode. Program components have been produced based on values found in clinical practice, research, musical experience, and artistry. This tutorial focuses on understanding dementia. Dementia is a global health concern. More and more people under the age of 65 are being diagnosed with dementia. More women are living with dementia. As the risk for dementia doubles every five years after age 65, the aging baby boomer population is expected to tip dementia into a global health crisis. As of 2015, 47.5 million people were living with dementia, and that number is expected to triple by 2050. The global cost for dementia is estimated at over 600 billion US dollars. Dementia is not a specific disease. It is an umbrella term that refers to a set of symptoms caused by different types of conditions affecting memory and brain function, where mental capabilities decline and quality of life is impacted. Symptoms include memory loss, confusion, changes in personality and physical function, loosening of emotional control, and decreased ability to maintain physical self-care. It is one of the biggest health concerns facing the world today. One of the results of living with dementia is isolation and a decline in social engagement. This can happen for a number of reasons. There is a stigma attached to dementia. Living with dementia can be accompanied by devastating losses, like a loss of friends, or loss of a driver's license, or loss of independence. Abilities change, like language and finding words, or the ability to cook and follow directions. Finances are impacted especially if dementia means losing employment. Living situations may also impact social engagement if transportation becomes an issue or if a move needs to be made for more care. Even in care-assisted facilities, there can be a lack of staffing or lack of personalized attention or a lack of meaningful activities. Pathways is designed for people living with dementia as a meaningful activity that is inviting and engaging 
and that can be done with others. There are many types of dementias, but the four most common kinds are Alzheimer's disease, vascular dementia, Lewy body dementia, and frontal lobe dementia. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive, irreversible disease where brain cells are attacked and degenerate. Gradually over time, Alzheimer's causes cognitive functions to deteriorate, resulting in symptoms such as memory loss and problems with behavior. Researchers aren't sure yet exactly what causes Alzheimer's disease, but the single most common factor in people with the disease is older age. The second most common kind of dementia is vascular dementia. This is caused by a decrease of oxygen to brain cells, for example, due to a stroke, which creates lasting damage to parts of the brain. Though the causes are different, the symptoms are similar to that of Alzheimer's disease. Researchers believe that many cases of vascular dementia go undiagnosed. Lewy body dementia is caused by abnormalities in how the brain processes the protein alpha-synuclein. Lewy bodies are found in other brain disorders like Parkinson's disease. Problems with thinking and reasoning, as well as movement symptoms like hunched posture, rigid muscles, a shuffling walk, or trouble initiating movement, may be experienced by people living with Lewy body dementia. Frontal lobe dementia attacks the upper lobes of the front part of the brain, which governs social abilities, executive function, behavior, and language skills. It is fast moving and dramatically alters social behavior, emotional response, and language skills, but leaves memory intact. In this way, a person living with frontal lobe dementia has the ability to learn new information, but lacks insight and judgment. While there are defined medical realities, the progression of dementia is different in every person. When you have met one person with dementia, you have met one person with dementia. Everyone is unique and will experience their illness and present changes differently. Yet the symptoms in all dementias are a result of neurological changes. To understand why symptoms in dementia occur, let's take a look at just how the brain functions. The brain is a highly specialized organ. It has two hemispheres, and each hemisphere has four components called lobes. The frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the temporal lobe, and the occipital lobe. Different areas of the brain are responsible for specific tasks. For example, the frontal lobe controls the short-term memory, problem-solving, planning and thinking, while the temporal lobes process the senses of smell, sound and taste. The brain depends on neural pathways to communicate information across its different parts. These neural pathways are actual chains of neurons that speak to one another. If one area of the brain is damaged, it becomes a broken link in the chain of communication. There is no known cure for dementias. However, strengthening neural pathways is one key to slowing the effects of dementia. We do this by keeping the brain active. Doing activities that stimulate different areas of the brain and engaging memory and motor functions. Staying physically active helps the flow of oxygen to the brain. Staying socially engaged and keeping up regular activities and hobbies can support brain health too. Cooking, gardening, dancing, singing, playing piano, going for walks in the park, listening to music, 
having conversations, looking at old photographs, are just some of the activities that can help slow the effects of dementia. The more the brain is stimulated, the more the neural pathways will remain intact and there will be less obvious occurrences of broken links in the chain. Programs like Pathways are responding to the growing need for support and meaningful activities for people living with dementia and their care partners. Pathways has been developed and produced by the Room 217 Foundation. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful and that you enjoy using Pathways.